did you always find yourself Bro, uh, all over my tests, all over my homework, all over like the margins of everything, you know what I mean? That's where it started. What does a world without war look like? A world without war, imagine that. Mm -hmm. That would be insane. World without war means, you know, we're all together. Right. But that will also mean that we're all one, right. right? But how would we be able to be one? Imagine we never had angry people. Imagine we never had people to argue with, to right. all of these things. So I feel like there's a beauty in, you know, being angry sometimes, even though, you know, most people try to avoid it, right? Does, like, does capitalism bother you? Absolutely. But would you be content with having nothing? You see, that, that's the thing. It, it matters about what something is to you. What does it feel like to you? Like, dude, when you use money to your benefit, does, do you feel corrupted inside or like? Yeah, money fucks with me every day. You know what I mean? Like, right. what do I do with this money? Even if I had it a little bit or if I had a lot, there's nothing, nothing is free in life. Refresh me. my memory. How did you get started painting on canvases specifically so yeah it was crazy because it's exactly a year ago today damn Which today is, this date yeah yeah specific where, date yeah Yo, like where, what the where i've officially sold like one of my canvases that i worked on That's and it was one of the first canvases like literally this size how many and pieces have you completed so far so that's the crazy part i, I never kept count but um my girlfriend def definitely puts an effort in okay I, th I feel like I'm close to, I'm nearing 80. Or, oh, fuck. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of pieces and, you know, actually that number is not so true because there's many pieces that I painted over. Right. And things like that, so. Dude. But, yeah. Congratulations, dude. Uh, it's insane to think about because I have a job where I go in every day and I have to critical think. I have to solve problems. I have to figure out all these things and... I feel like that puts the most amount of stress on my brain. Right. And, you know, that's the reason why I see everything so chaotic sometimes. Right. Because I hate thinking now. I think so much that I hate thinking. I hope at any point it doesn't get overwhelming for you to feel that lack of privacy, like as you get bigger, because it's like... Well, we talked about this because as soon as that feeling comes, that's when I'm gone. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. You didn't say that. <laughs> That. right Damn. yeah so that's that's the thing i'm most fearful about is how i'll take that and how how my body will respond to all this newfound fame how important is having true friends to you that's crazy that's like i mean that's why you see harris and alex is still here with me and all that the like, trilogy yeah that's i feel like what stands the time of true friendship mm -hmm is just being genuine, you know what I mean? That person that like you could create with, you could do absolutely anything that's on your mind, brainstorm as well. Right. And they'll just see that. Do you ever find yourself blaming yourself for the wrongdoings of others? You see, I had a tough battle with that, you know what I mean? And that's where most of my anxiety comes from. Okay. Where, you know, I feel like why, uh, the reason why I failed is because i let people down or some shit like like and, and you still feel that pressure to this day absolutely you know what i mean where it's like am i gonna make my parents proud for all the paintings that i sell or some shit like that but at the end of the day does it really even matter do you know who your great grandma is or your great great grandma or your great great grandfather you know no. at least their names no that's the thing that Probably in two generations, you will be forgotten. I want a history book of the entire family, so that doesn't happen, but I, I can understand that point, though. But most, most of the people here, I don't know my great-grandfather, right. and you know what I mean? And that is something that I don't want for myself. I, I have this goal in life, and I have the opportunity to, like, attain it and things like that, but right. if I don't, then that's fine. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's all about giving your meaning, your, your life meaning, you know what I mean? It's all, it's all up to you. Right. And this could mean the world to me. You know what I mean? And if it, if it succeeds in that way and other people see that devotion that I have to my art, like you, for example, then 
you know, time will tell. You know what I mean? You have a piece of me. Other people have a piece of me. People in, in Italy have a piece of me. People in, in all these crazy parts of the world have a piece of me now. You right. Know what I mean? So it's like at that point, I can't be forgotten. The reason why um, I wanted to have a conversation with you uh, specifically was because you just remind me of what it means to be a true artist and not because your work it's like the abstractness like there's no bounds to Suban you know bro hey that's what I mean I, I try so hard to like be whatever is in my mind first you know what I mean you know when you like think of something first and you're like ah oh, no that's not it let it go right I like to execute on that first thought because there's this theory where it's like there's a spirit in an idea and the idea flows from person to person until that person acts on the idea and if you don't act on the idea it moves on to another person you know what i mean is that the ether doing its, its job i believe so do you feel like you're holding on to things that don't serve you no more yes and i feel like we're taught to hold on to things to memorize to to do all this shit because we're programmed in schools to do that. You know but, what I mean? But what are you personally doing for the things that you, you think you're holding on to that you shouldn't? That's, that's, that's the thing. I try my best not to hold on to anything. No matter what th thought it is, no matter how like crazy it is. And that's, that's honestly why I paint over some of my canvases. Because like it could be a great ass canvas or whatever, but nobody wants it. Nobody wants to buy it. Mm -hmm. It's being painted over. Hold on, I want to ask you this because now you said you don't hold on to anything. Um, that piece that you said is very dear to you. I want a reason behind it because you did offer it to me um, with 100 on top of the original price. Yeah. And I just, me being an artist myself, respecting another artist, I couldn't do it because the second that intellectual piece leaves your property or leaves your premise, it's like, damn. You know, you get, there's that sense of regret starts to fill in. So I was like, you know what? because he really does have a deeper connection with this piece let me not challenge it but i want to know why is that piece personal to you so like i think the only reason that is different from every other piece is it has history it literally has like the biggest part of my rev like my revolution inside my body that is the canvas that every piece that i painted for my first collection got you know all the excess paint got painted onto that mm. so think about that that's a canvas from all my brainstorms from the first collection i've ever drawn you know what i mean this is almost a piece of history in a sense because I guess, yeah you know you being 21 me being 24 who knows what next year looks like we never knew that this pandemic was going to hit the way it did you know exactly we never knew we were going to get this much time right <laughs> this much time i remember you said um when you're ready to wrap up art, your plan is to move away from the city. Where do you, why do you see yourself doing that? Yeah, it's just, it's mainly because I love the attention, but not too much of it. Because once you get wrapped up into the attention, you always feel like you need to produce more. You need to give all the people what they want and all that. But at the same time, it's my life. And once I sell it, to the audience and all that and I sell my life to the audience and I have to always be in the limelight I have to be a, a leader for the kids and you know I can't do anything that I want to do because you know the camera's always on me you know Kim Kardashian can't do that one th one thing wrong or one she can't you know refrain from saying anything or if she speaks about Palestine and Israel at the same time or whatever she's fucked you right you know what I mean I am terrified of that happiness is going to be exactly what I'm doing now, enjoying the, the present right now without any fear of the future or regret of the past, honestly. End us off. <laughs> we need a bar. <laughs> I like to say, you know, I'm a, the way I like to write artist is art is I, you know what I mean? So not only am i art am i an artist but art is i i i guess it's a weird way to think about it when i say it like that but if you think about it with no thoughts you'll see appreciate you man
appreciate you. Good, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. That was more pressure on that in that space than normally him just throwing it Okay. Open. That's why I did that, but you know, you need options at the end. You know? Hey, all right. Hey. 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 Thanks.